The ceasefire has ended. Large-scale fighting continues in Donetsk with all kinds of weaponry. The city's press center reports that the Ukrainian side broke the regime of silence and started shelling as early as last night, intensifying it on January 10 afternoon. Residences and houses of Donetsk Kuybyshevsky district came under heavy shelling. As a result, residential buildings were severely damaged and many residents were wounded. The city is presumably shelled from Avdeevka and Pesky, where fighting has been ongoing during the daytime with small arms. Reports also came from the area regarding intensive clashes with tanks. The road to Mariupol is closed. Offices of newspaper Slavyanka were attacked with Molotov cocktails in Kharkov. It is not clear who the perpetrators were, but Nazi Wolf's Angel symbol and title Warning Not to Lie scribbled on a door are sufficient reason to suspect Ukrainian patriots. Moreover, the newspaper journalists say they have been threatened previously by telephone for allegedly holding so-called pro-Russia views. Pyotr Poroshenko may stop the March of Unity with a performance. Ukrainian president saluted the crowd at the March for Unity when over 40 world leaders joined Cry for Freedom rally in Paris. Poroshenko's actions caused an unpleasant surprise from them. According to local media, estimates up to 3 million are marched through Paris in solidarity with the 17 victims of the Charlie Hebdo attack and the three-day-long period of terror attacks. A top parliamentarian from the Russian Federation Council Upper House of Parliament urged European leaders to voice their position following statements by Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk, who said the USSR attacked Germany and Ukraine in 1941. This is not just distortion of our common history. This is justification of Hitlerism and an insult to the memory of heroes and victims in fight against Nazism with Ukrainians among them, Konstantin Kazachov wrote in his blog. Will they swallow this? Will the learned European politicians keep silent, once again pretending that nothing has happened. The chairman of the Upper House's International Affairs Committee said, suggesting that perhaps even this will not make Yatsenyuk non-handshakeable for European politicians. We remember speaking on German television on Thursday, Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said, We all remember well Soviet Union invasion of Germany and Ukraine. Will world swallow it? We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.